My name is Larry Mayer. I'm chief photographer at the Billings Gazette. What we're doing here today is uh, shooting a portrait um, for the newspaper. And uh, we're in the studio at the, at the Billings Gazette, which is on the second floor. Um, it's a large space. We've got a couple of different studio locations. We've got an infinity wall here. We've got linen backdrops. We're going to shoot a quick portrait here. And then we're going to go um, someplace else outside and, and do a similar picture. Um, because a lot of times you don't have the ability to have a studio setting like this. So how do you make a nice portrait of somebody um, with just available light? And I've got a couple of tricks I'm going to talk about in a minute. So right now we're just going to we're going to do this portrait and see if we can get a nice picture here. And then we'll go outside and we'll uh, I'll show you a couple of things about about doing that. All right. So the first thing that I do is um, I, I do what's called a, a three quarter. Um, people don't look as nice when they're standing looking straight on. So, so one thing I do is always have them turn, you know, uh, uh, 45 degrees to the camera so that um, um, it just gives the, the picture more depth. The other thing is I use about a 100 millimeter lens. So if you've got a zoom lens, if you've got a simple zoom lens, you can go to around 100 millimeters. That gives the, the correct depth, the depth from the nose to the ear, it, it, gives, it gives the same um, view that your eyes do. And so um, that's, that's another little trick that you can use if you've got a, a simple zoom lens. If you don't, that's okay. And I'll t we'll talk about that when we get outside a little bit on how to, how to shoot those pictures so that they don't get that uh, wide angle look. So we're just going to get started with this. And, uh, and this is just a test picture here. So looks good, just like that. Looks great. Good. Little smile. There you go. Good. Good. That looks great. Perfect. Nice. That looks good. Now, um, we've got a lot of little things going on here. We've got the, this, the main light, which is a softbox. We've got a light on the backdrop back there. And this is a, a linen backdrop that's painted. And then we've got a light for, um, for her hair um, back there that, that gives the picture a little more depth. We won't be able to do that outside, but there's a couple of simple little things we can do when we get outside. Okay, so a little smile. There you go, nice, good, good, good. Okay, so there's a, there's a test picture. All right, so you can kind of see how the, how the lighting is. You can see that light on the hair the light on the background that makes the background just kind of a dark gray and uh, and then this main light here and we're trying to just eliminate you know harsh shadows and things like that we can duplicate that outside and uh, so that's what we're going to do now we're going to go outside and I'll show you a couple little tricks for doing that same thing out there all right so what we're doing here is we're we're doing uh, we're extending this portrait thing and what I just want to show you is that you don't have to necessarily have uh, a fancy uh, photo studio to get a nice portrait. We can, we can, we can, this is the load, this is the loading dock at the Gazette. And so one of the tricks you can use by using your zoom lens again is, um, is making uh, as shallow a depth of field as you can, if that's possible with your camera, so that the background is out of focus. And even though we've got all this junk back here, I think you'll be surprised at what we're able to do with it, even, even though we don't have any lighting equipment. A lot of times what I'll use is a garage. I, 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 um, I open the garage door, I put the subject just inside the door so they're out of the direct sunlight, and, um, and then the background will just go black, and uh, the, the lighting just from the outside um, is, uh, you know, is fairly even so that you don't get any harsh shadows. So we're just going to kind of see how this looks here. Okay, now that looks that looks great, just like that little smile. That looks good. It looks good. You guys look nice, actually. You look really nice. That looks great. All right, little smile. There you go. Good. All right. So uh, so here's a you know here you, you can see one of the pictures that I just shot. We'll, we'll crop it just a little bit, like we're going to. Um, so, you know, I mean, as you can see, you know, it's, a, it's a nice, tight, you know, portrait of, of these sisters. You don't necessarily uh, have to have a fancy studio to do that. You just have to work on uh, 
keeping the background clean and, and keeping clutter out of the image. That's nice.